色，但是呢，那种颜色可能就经过一些。杨在高 is from Sandu County in Guizhou Province. His county got rid of the poverty tax in 2020. In 2018, when he graduated from middle school and couldn't afford his high school education, he did not have too many career options in his hometown. I had two choices: either stay on in my hometown to plant crops like my parents, or go to factories in other big cities to do some assembly line work. But I was one of the lucky ones to get help from the Guangzhou government. They trained us in e-commerce, something that helped us earn a living and change our destinies. The Guangzhou government has been recruiting 50 students from Sandu County, Guizhou Province, every year since 2018 for studying in the Guangdong Linan Modern Technician College. The school teaches them all the necessary modern skills, such as typing, how to use computers, and how to operate e-commerce shops online. Since most of us were from poor households, the college offered us tuition fee reductions and free dormitories, and also gave us monthly allowances of 1,000 yuan each. With the help from the school, in June last year, Yang Zaigao and several of his classmates from Guizhou founded the Harvest Year e-commerce company. The platform has sold agricultural products from Guangzhou worth 300,000 U.S. dollars via live streaming. During 2020, when the city was hit by the COVID-19 pandemic, Guangzhou conducted the Guangzhou e-commerce live streaming festival for two consecutive years. It offered a platform for companies to promote their products online. The government is pushing the government. The government urged companies to conduct the e-commerce live streaming festival together. We were very encouraged, as it was the first festival of its kind aimed at the e-commerce sector on local government level. They also offered us free.